Hi, it's Pete Moore. Welcome to PCM Guns. In my 20 years stint as editor of Shooting Sports, I had some great times. I must admit, I networked a lot and I got invites everywhere over the years. Got me to shoot moose, chamois, lots of wild boar, even some birds. Now, when it comes to shotgunning, I'm a bit of a duffer. I like shotgunning and when I practice for a few days on a lot of clays with a lot of shells, I tend to get better. And I always say to myself, I must carry on doing that, but I never bloody well do, which is my own fault. Large Group UK, head of CEO Frederick Hanna, good friend of mine, he sent me in the post this. Check it out. It says, Dear Pete, I would like to invite you to our exclusive guest day of the 2024 Blazer Cup and enjoy a great lunch and there's a chance to win a Blazer F16. Yeah, that'll happen to me because I shoot like a duffer. It's on Thursday 6th of June at the Ian Coley Sporting Shooting Ground. I've been to the Ian Coley's before. It's an excellent place to go. So, typically I said yes because I've never in my life, apart from practical shotgun, which I used to be very good at when I was a young boy, um, have ever been to a shotgun, sh shotgun competition shoot, shall we say. And again, Frederick said, if you like Pete, we'll send you an F-16 to shoot. Now, my only other experience with the F-16 was up in Scotland, in, I think in 2019. It was a blaster trip. It was to shoot Red Hines and Woodcock. And if you've ever been to Scotland to shoot, it is gnarly ground. Where we were shooting there's all these peat hags and things, it's just like a, a bottomless bog. And I found that the ground really hard to keep up, it was really taxing me. And at one stage I had to cross a big peat hag, there was no way around it, and I had to balance from tussock to tussock. And I very stupidly didn't take my um, walking pole shooting stick with me. And I had to use the shotgun as a pole didn't want to but it was either that or falling in the water which could have resulted in my early demise. Um, I told Frederick he took it well he wasn't very happy and I can understand why but it seems to me that they've um, decided to trust me with F-16 again though I'm, I assured him there's no Pete Ags at Ian Coley shooting ground so it should be quite safe. So basically I've been shooting this a little bit to get my eye in and I well actually I do know how well I'll do because they always need somebody in last place and I don't think I'm going to do amazingly well but I'm going to have a good time so just got the F-16 here which is a very very nice gun this is how I like my guns plain just plain like sort of gunmetal grey action with F-16 picked out in red which is nice barrels are again semi-matte this is a, full, uh, this is a 32 inch gun with two quarter chokes in it which is a bit long for me I think but then again I don't know enough about double guns to actually make a serious comment but I tell you one thing it feels really nice comfy shoulders well and things I like about it too it's got a mechanical trigger so once it's on boom boom you don't have to get the recoil to set the gun tang mounted manual safety again I don't like doubles that where you break the gun the safety goes back on and inside the trigger guard is a barrel selector. First barrel, up or down, which is quite important. On this gun, it's grade four walnut, which is nice, but I wouldn't personally bother with anything like that. I think for about two and a half to 600, you can get the basic F16 Sporter, which if I was shopping in this area, then I would get a 28 inch in that thing. Obviously it's a multi-choke, but this is, for me, it's a posh shotgun. It really is. And I'm really looking forward to shooting. I've got 200 Ely Blues, which I can bang away to my heart's content and make a fool of myself and have a great day. Okay, so follow me. We'll go back in in a minute, load up and just fire a few patterns, have a bit of fun. Whatever happens, mate. It's a run ashore. Competition I've never done before, which I always find exciting. So there you go. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, just been potting away through rounds of the F-16. I've got to say I quite like it. Recoil's good. I'm using seven and a half uh, 
28 gram sort of competition type loads so recoil is quite easy I like the comb it's hardly up but it just gives a nice little bit of support you see it ejects really nicely and forcefully and when we look at the patterns I was patterning at 35 yards it's shooting dead center which is comforting that means I've got my gun mount reasonably okay and maybe just a, a fraction high but no complaints at all it's a shooting cock on for me so that's it all we've got to do now is get a Cheltenham get the Ian Coley's and um, win the prize see you later well here we are Ian Coley's we're ready for the big day got here early of course got my gear together gonna have a mooch around see what's occurring so very kindly I've got Felix from Blaser in Germany here and he's agreed to tell us a bit about the F-16 and the F-3 which are the two guns they make and also about the ethos behind the Blaser Cup I mean there's a lot of companies Chedite do a, a shoot and there's a number of companies in the UK that do a shoot so a little bit about that so Felix over to you if you'd like to tell us about the Blaser Cup please yeah, thank you it's, um, the Blaser Cup is a great opportunity for us to advertise our products, um, to, to show our brand on the market and also to give people the opportunity to test our products. And uh, yeah, I hope everybody enjoys it and has a good, good time here. Yeah, because I noticed that as a lot of people, so I, I've got a lone gun for the, for the day, but a lot of people with F-16s, I mean obviously there's all sorts of makes, Brownings, Berettas, Barattas out here, but there was a, a dominance of F-16s around. It's interesting to see people shoot a different shotgun. And I say from my point of view, I quite like the fact it's got a very low receiver. The problem me, I can't, I can't keep both eyes open when I shoot because I'm a rifleman. And so I appreciated the, the way it comes up quite ni nicely and naturally. So tell us a bit about the F3. Yeah, two, two shotguns on the market right now. Um, as you already mentioned, the F16 is the, is the shotgun with the lowest re receiver on, on the market. Uh, we, we really took care of that. Um, uh, then we also have the F3, which is our first model, what, what we introduced to the market. And the um, main difference between those models is uh, that we have an inline striker system at the F3, which is unique uh, on the market. So we are a little bit faster from the moment you uh, pull the trigger until the, the shot breaks. Yeah. And uh, the F-16 has a classic hammer system, it's a very well manufactured and uh, yeah, they are both great guns. And I've got to say, I like the fact that the F-16 has got a manual safety because I can't get on with automatic safety so I keep forgetting that this bloody thing goes straight on again. It, mine ejected very well and the barrel selector is a little bit different, it's like a little lever inside the trigger guard. Usually it's on the safety catch but I got used to that very very quickly and I found in the end quite natural with it. But uh, I think it's quite a cracking gun. I mean, it's yeah. quite a price difference between the F3 and the 16, isn't it? It actually is. Um, so we introduced our F16 model at the mid-price range, and um, it's, it's actually the more common gun also on, on the countryside for field, field and, yeah. and game shooting. And um, yeah, the F3 is, is basically a, a high-level competition gun. Was that? built to sort of take challenge the Krieg off gun a bit? Um, the F3 is like on level with the K80 I would oh, say. Oh wow, okay, yeah. that's it, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay, yeah. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much indeed, Thank Felix. you very much. Cheers. Well. Well...
Frederick Hanna from Blaza Group, UK guy. Absolutely. So Frederick, I had a great day. I shot like a complete idiot, but I didn't expect anything else, but I had a really good time and enjoyed shooting the F-16. So, what are your thoughts on the day? Yeah, I think it was a lot harder than expected, which I actually like. I really like harder competitions where somebody on 138 or 140 out of 150 tomorrow or the day after wins it, rather than this constant 148, 149, 150 out of 150 kind of competition winnings. Um, because I think that really separates the, the real professionals or somebody who has a really good day from, from, from the mass. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm really happy with it. But like yourself, by nature, much more a rifle shot. Yeah. So always struggling with a shotgun. <laughs> and then on a course like today, <laughs> even more so. That's, I found that, found it, that that's the course that's going to be for the actual cup, isn't it? Yeah, that's half of yeah, half uh, it, half yeah, the rest is down here. I the rest is yeah. down, down the yeah. other side tomorrow, exactly. Yeah, so I shot badly, but I found my problem with shotgunning is that I like doing it, but I never follow it up. You know, I think I must do this again, and I don't. I go off and shoot rifles. And then by the end of the day, though I was still shooting quite badly, I noticed that I was hitting more clays and well, doing of things course, better. Of course. You know, the more you do it, the better you get. Um, it's the same with. With rifle shooting as well yeah. of course but um, you know I mean today was the first time since the game season um, that I've been <laughs> pulling the trigger on a shotgun so I'm I'm, I'm happy <laughs> yeah, let's call it that without mentioning scores uh, whatsoever <laughs> well that's true if you've got to have a good time the whole point of it so yeah. Blaza Cup is it are you thinking of moving it in different directions later on um, I mean look we've uh, we're at Ian Coley's this year it's the yeah. first time we're here we've been at um, at Austin in the past I'm definitely happy to move it, um, but really see where it goes, see, see where people want it. Um, I, I don't like it to be fixed to one location always and, and forever. Yeah. And, and yeah, just grow it every year, um, get, get more entries and, and see where, so, where we end up. So it becomes an event in this UK national calendar as such. Exactly, and I mean, that's what we do. Yeah. Of course, we, we have our shooters who will all be here tomorrow and on, on Saturday, um, but it's, it's building the community and kind of having a, a good time and, and building community also. Yeah. Have you considered maybe doing something like this for rifle? I know it's perhaps a bit more involved with, with rifles. Yeah. I mean, always open to, to ideas and, and, and suggestions. Mm. A lot harder on the licensing, a lot harder on the venue, a yeah. lot harder to get approval for, of, of course. But yeah, absolutely. I mean, maybe that's a, a good idea to have a, a long range rifle competition well, indeed, somewhere yeah. in Scotland or, or something like that. That would work, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Well, I'd like to thank you for the loan of the F-16. Please note, it's in good condition, unlike in Scotland. <laughs> I am ever so glad to hear. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thanks for a great day, mate. You're very welcome. Awesome to have you over. Pete Moore from Ian Coley's and Blaza saying goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. I quite like the F-16. So it's the first time I've used it in anger properly. Say in Scotland, I got a few pops at Woodcock, but nothing serious. But to punch through about 75 rounds, plus what I've done in the range before, you get a feel for the gun. And that's really it. I had a good time, as I said before. I'd probably do it again. The winner of the Blavza comp was a guy called Chris Broomfield with a very respectful 63 out of 75. Which is pretty good for that sort of course of fire. And just to show the comparison, Mrs. Moore's little boy, by good self, got a massive 18 out of that 75. Just thought you'd like to know. Well done, Chris. So it's Pete Moore signing off for me and Coley's and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for looking in and as usual if you like this tell your friends, support the channel, if you want to speak to me it's pmoore.shootingsports at juma.com. Catch you later.